Chicago's police superintendent urging people to wait for the results of an investigation before they pass judgment on last month's deadly police shooting of Dexter Reed. Judy's live at police headquarters with the latest. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. It was the first time the police superintendent spoke publicly about the case since officer body cam video became public. The five officers involved gave initial statements on the night of the shooting. Larry Snelling warns that they have not been formally interviewed and without their perspective, the public has not yet gotten the full story. Shots fired! Shots fired! Hey! The EMS is now! The EMS is now! COPA, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, released video of the March 21st Humboldt Park incident Tuesday. Tactical officers stopped Dexter Reed's car for a seatbelt violation at Ferdinand and Avers. Reed initially refused officers' orders. There was a shootout between Reed and police, resulting in the 26-year-old's death. COPA says it was Reed who fired first, wounding an officer. The agency says the four other officers fired 96 times in about 45 seconds. Superintendent Larry Snelling criticized the release of a letter COPA's chief administrator wrote to him. In it, Andrea Kirsten questioned the validity of the traffic stop. She questioned how officers could have seen whether Dexter Reed was wearing a seatbelt when Reed's car had tinted windows. Snelling warned against a rush to judgment. He called those who put information out there, including on social media, irresponsible. We know what these types of situations can lead to. It's a powder keg. Do we want to see our city burn? Do we want people fighting with each other? Do we want more destruction and damage? A police officer was shot. A man lost his life. A man lost his life. This isn't something that we should take lightly. This isn't something that should play out in the court of public opinion. The five officers involved remain on administrative duty. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox says that her office is in the early stages of an investigation to determine whether any criminal charges are warranted. Outside Police Headquarters, Judy Wang, WGN News.